Clemson is a team that hangs their hat on defense, struggles offensively. Jasmine McGee, as I say that, blows by three defenders who played in different defense there. Now finds Usry to Sinclair, right corner, three ball on the way. She buries it, and Indiana cuts it to one. Cole Bell to Quanisha McCurdy. She's going to fire a three. She can knock those down, and she buries it there. Lonnie Sinclair can drive against Jones, struggling against the length, pushes it off the glass and in for two. And has the basketball on the right wing, working against the zone. Has it slapped away by McGee, stolen by Sinclair. Three on one for Indiana. Alani now to Linda Rabana on the break. Makes the layup. We're tied at 29. Now an inbound to Chaplin, similar range, wide open. She banks in the layup to Lindsay underneath the Ford. Ford hook shot is blocked by McCurdy. Dumps underneath to Jamison Myers. Out of control pass is stolen by Nicole Bell. Bell outlets now to Alani Sinclair. Euro steps through, banks in the layup. She's got 21. Inbound now to McGee. Down to Nicole Bell, open for three. She fires, buries it right corner. McGee to McCurdy who rolls beautifully off the window and in for two. Indiana has tied it up at 42 and Quanisha McCurdy is fired up with a little bit of a fist pump. It bounces off to Deloach, right to Alani Sinclair, back to Deloach who banks it in for the score. Indiana struggling to get a look here. McGee's gonna have to create, working against Grant, gets free, buries the 12 footer from the right wing. Linda now drives, gets by Jones, Puts up the layup and banks it in. They didn't foul. With six seconds left on the clock, Clemson didn't foul. Five straight games where Indiana has held their opponent to under 50 points.